Global. I don't know who you are, bro. Tell us who you are. What up, man? Yeah, I'm straight out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, MMG, Maybach Music, you feel me? For sure. Made Entertainment, we definitely in the building. For sure, for sure. Now, say, are you the, like, the first big artist to pop from Las Vegas? Nah, Dizzy Wright. Dizzy Wright. Okay. He's going on some, uh, um, yeah, I know who Dizzy Wright is. I ain't know you from Las Vegas. Yeah, from Vegas. All right. Yeah, in the east side. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, for those who don't know about Vegas culture, bro, give us a little rundown on that. Like, what's going on in Vegas? I heard y'all sell the most weed in America. Probably do because of the, um, the um, you know, people, the tourists come back and forth out there. Yeah. Dang, I didn't know that. We sell the most weed in America. Huh? Yeah, more than Cali. Vegas yeah, sells crazy. more weed than Cali. That's what I heard. That's, that's crazy. But, yeah, we got the biggest dispensary in the world out there. I know that for sure. Okay. I mean, it's just a typical West Coast city, you know, a lot of weed, a lot of bitches, gangbanging and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Now, coming up, was you, like, into gangbanging and shit? Yeah, of course. Growing up in the streets, you ain't, you ain't I mean, coming to territory, you know what I'm saying? So, right. But, you know, music let a nigga out of that, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So, how long How long have you been, like, a rapper? Um, I've been signed to Ross for, like, maybe four years. Four years. Yeah. Not. I'm talking about before Ross. Before Ross, I was just like, wait, playing around. Well, five years. I might be going on five years, five, six years. I was just fucking around at first. I didn't take nothing serious. And then, you know, Ross got hurt in my hold of my first mistake. So that's how For sure. Know. For sure. Now, like, okay, him, he, did you reach out to him first or was it like? Nah, he actually heard. He got a hold of my first mistake and reached out. For sure. So, like, when you. Know, you, you can't reach out to niggas like that. Like, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. So like when 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 he reached out, what was your initial thoughts? Well, he reached out to a homie, and I thought it was bullshit. I thought a nigga was just playing. Yeah. So when he came back out to Vegas, you know, he reached out, and that's how that happened. For sure, for sure. Now you been you say you've been signing MMG for five years. Yeah, yeah. How's your life changed? Um, the work I think just you know taking music a lot more serious and just gotta work. You know, I gotta my my uh, my. My girl, I'm not used to it. My, uh, the other artists on there are kind of, you know, major. So, you know, you got to keep up with the Joneses when it comes to the music. For sure. For yeah. sure. Now, do you, is it like a, is it like a friendly competition type thing? I don't even think it's like a competition. It's just like, man, let's do what we do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, everybody putting out something for the streets and, you know, for, for the people. So, it's just like, everybody's a little bit different. So, when we come together, so, you know, the portrait get painted. You know what I mean? Nah, for sure. For sure. Now, so you've been on tour for how many days now? Um, we started off, damn, at the beginning of the month, the 15th or something like that. Damn. Yeah. And how many cities so far? Um, damn, I can't even count. You know, that shit all be like a blur once you get to do it. Yeah. But, uh, we go here, then we go, um, New Orleans next, back to Houston, then we, LA, then we got a break. While they go out the country, then we come back in Atlanta and Charlotte and stuff like that. Now, how has, like, the crowd and everybody been receiving you? Oh, wonderful. Too? Wonderful. It's, it's been going great, man. Um, my music good. It's just people got to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Which right. is everybody's always been saying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never really had no complaints about my music or nothing like that. For sure. I've always got real positive feedback. So the crowd is really fucking with me. And uh, being on tour with Wale, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of a big responsibility because I kind of like set the tone for what he got going on. So we got to make sure we go out there and do our thing. Nah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Now, so far, what's been your favorite city so far? Mmm. Maybe Birmingham, I had the most fun, yeah. So, Birmingham, I liked, it, I liked the Kansas City, though. Kansas City stage was a little different. I was kind of, I had the room to hop around a little bit. So, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. Have you ever did a show in Dallas? Yeah, I was at the House of Blues on tour with Ross. Okay. When I was on tour with Ross, we was at the House of Blues not too long ago. Already, already. You know, they say, like, we got, like, one of the most liveest show scenes. Like, the fans here just... Yeah. It's real receiving to. They fucked with me last time, but Ross brought me out last time. I didn't have my own set. Ross brought me out, and I just performed like two songs. But this time I got my own set, so we gonna really rock out this time. Already, already. So shit, now it, we in Dallas, bro. Like, is there any artist that you you tapped into yeah, out here? I, we just got here, but I'm trying to tap into anybody that's the hottest niggas out here out the gate. I got uh, DJ Trevor Hollis with me, so you know we gonna yeah. we gonna really get it in tonight. For sure, for sure. But uh, really, my question is like, do you, do you know of any like Dallas rappers here? I mean, I said besides one that's really popping, like John Boy Freddy. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's about it. For sure. For yeah, sure. Metro. Um, what's the other boy name that I fuck with? Maxo. Yeah, the big. Yeah, Maxo. Maxo Houston. Yeah, I think he is from Houston. Maxo, because he was from Dallas. Nah, nah, he's from Houston because he down there. He fuck with Grizzle them down there. He fuck with the homies. Sure. Cause he, 
find out, yeah, I know some of them. Yeah, for sure. You good? You fuck with some of the homies, so yeah. For sure. For sure, bro. Now, uh, so like, for somebody who hasn't heard your music, bro, like, what what can you tell us? Like, what what kind of feeling um, does your music give? A good West Coast vibe, maybe a little more lyrical than what they used to from the West Coast, but you know what I'm saying? It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of uh, slang word playing there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of I I I, I kind of get taught I paint a paint a picture for motherfuckers. Motherfuckers say they can see what I'm saying a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. So, that's what you're going to get out of that. Facts. From, facts. from other people's perspective, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't going to give you mine, I'm going to tell you what the fans say. For sure, for sure. Now, hey, did you have a beard before you signed the MMG? Um, I think I was growing it before I signed the MMG. <laughs> I think so. I'm just fucking with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking with you. All right, man, I see, you know what I'm saying, you got the chains on, Sean. Oh, I'm light like, right now. Wait till showtime. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm right right now. Wait till showtime. I know, I know y'all like to stunt in Texas, man. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. How important do you feel like jury is to your career? Um, For people, people like this, the perception. You know what I'm saying? Because when people talk about an artist, they think of a perception. For me, I'm like, it depends on what people see first. If people hear the music first, the jury's not important. But if they see you first, then it is important because they want a perception of it. Like if I see a nigga walking down the street and he be like, man, I rap. If he look like shit, I'm not even going to pay attention to him. That's a fact. But if I hear his music first and then see him, he ain't got no jewelry on, I'm not really going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, it just depends on how how you're how you're introduced yeah, to the fans. Because see me going out there right now, like, you know, a lot of people, first time hearing me or seeing me, so, you know, I got to look the part and play the part, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, shit. Being though that you are signed and kind of like an established artist, do you, how important do you think relationship with rappers in the blogs are? I think it's everything. Like my problem, I ain't gonna lie. My problem during my career has been like I'm kind of standoffish and I fuck with like my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like I fuck with my niggas and my niggas it. So you know, people are like you're not as personal as you need to be. You need to like you know reach out to a little bit people a little more. People are scared to approach me or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So. I think uh, I've been trying to like reach out and be more like open to people and other artists and shit. Cause before, like, well, to this day, even if I don't have a relationship with a nigga, I don't give a fuck about doing the feature with a nigga if I don't know him personally. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, right. like, I feel like I feel like you really do need to have a relationship with somebody to make good music with them. Yeah. Cause it's like you can meet a nigga, he can rap good, but if you don't like him, it's like yeah, like some of the shit I got, like I got a tape with Monzi Filthy, I got some songs with Kevin Gates, like. I know these niggas and we hung out before we did music. Okay, so when we sure. got in there, like people were like, why you do albums with these niggas? Like, I got albums for 100. And I was like, bro, we fuck with each other so tough. We in the studio and we just did a couple song after song after song. We vibe and we leave, we come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we just end up with like 12 records because I really fuck with this nigga, like, in and out the booth. You know what I'm saying? Whether sure. we went to the studio or no email and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? And they all came out pretty cool. I like the vibe on all of them. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you, I think you can kind of tell sometimes if niggas rock with each other when they don't. Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I definitely agree with that. I definitely can tell when the feature is forced. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. Now, what's one of your favorite verses you got out there? Not one of your songs, but a verse that you did on somebody else's is like your favorite verse. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie. I got some shit, uh, just me just gassing or something. You just one of your, you like, you run that bitch back like, damn, I killed this hoe. I think the one I got with Kevin Gates, I got a thing called Victim of Kevin Gates, and I felt like I was rapping, rapping. You feel okay. me? Okay. For sure. Yeah, I do it for like I was And rapping. it's out right now? Yeah, it's out right now. It's called Victim. Um, He actually, um, he actually, like, just blessed me on some shit, threw me a hook or whatever, so. Yeah. And I, um, I did that, I think. That was one of my favorite verses. Probably one of the most slept. Well, no, I wasn't really slept on. They got a lot of. Yeah, a lot of, he was a lot of players, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, nice little check off that little single. Sure, sure. Now, is there any artist that you, like, just click with that you just love to work with? Um, any of, any of the homies, for real. Like, and the click and work with, that got to be, like, somebody at my own camp. Like, my nigga Deuce, my nigga Weet You Act. Like, because, you know, we friends, like, out the gate. We real homies, so, you know, when I get in the studio and vibe with them, it's just like, you know, that is what it is. For sure, for sure. Now, are there all your artists in your camp from Vegas too? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, so, how do people treat you when you back home in Vegas, bro? Like, I ain't never been, so. Oh, man, I'm, 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 I don't be too big here. I'm that nigga at home, man. I love the way they treat me, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I get love from everybody. 
every neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? There's a few niggas hate, but you know, that's, that's what it comes to the territory, but man, I love it. I ain't gonna lie, I love it. Yeah, for sure. For I somebody who never it. been, like, what like, what should I do the first time I go there? Like, I'm going to, like, go, go to Mario's and get some catfish. Catfish. Yeah. Rod. Yeah, it's on the west side. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Mario's. It's off the strip, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, you know, it's just, like, go to Mario's and get some catfish. Now, shit, like, people think that Vegas just be, like, the strip. Like, nah, you know, the, the strip, you know, we got the east side, west side, north side, you know, Martin Luther King, like, every, you know, every major city, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we got all that. For sure. People only focus on the strip because you know that's what everybody come for. Already, already. Now, what, give me some of Vegas culture, bro. Like besides the gambling and shit, like what, what, what? It, I mean, pimping, hoeing, hustling. I mean, Vegas is really a hustle city. For sure. Like it's strictly fast like fast paced, very fast paced hustle city. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It really is. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. It's like you know, we we just now get the sports team finally. So, you know, before that, all the niggas you see riding around in forums, like, you know, when you in the big city, you might be able to blend in. They might, if you if you big nigga or a tall nigga, like, oh, he played, he played basketball, he played football. You know, out there in Vegas, nah, he in the streets. He pushing yeah. around that forum, you know what I'm saying? He's so, like, you know, that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, shit, what's one of your, fir your, your favorite cities to visit? Um, New York, Atlanta. Okay, why Atlanta? Um, Atlanta, one of the only cities I ever been to where I can sit in the studio all day, just drop from studio to studio. They got so many artists out there that I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? I get a lot of work done. New York is a real vibe for me because I feel like you need New York in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So I like going out there and, like, and, and working the interviews and stuff like that. Any city I get some work in. I would say LA, but LA is so close to home, it's kind of like giving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so. a fact. That's a fact. Now, nah, shit, this, I got one more question, and we can really wrap it up. It's man. all good. It's like, uh, a lot of people, a lot of artists, it's been a topic lately that you shouldn't sign to another artist. Mm -hmm. And you're signed, not, I mean, you signed to Ross, you know what I'm saying? Like, so how do you feel about people saying, like, you should never sign to another artist? It depends on who the artist. artist is. It depends on what's going on. At the end of the day, like, if you got your shit going on, I mean, like, for example, this nigga ain't in my camera now, like, that we see it, Key Glock. Yeah. He signed to Dolph. I mean, he doing cool. Yeah. Like, right. Dolph ain't holding him back. Dolph letting him do his thing. They rocking um, the baby. Stunner Fo. Stunner Fo. Yeah. He doing his thing. He signed to an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see why. It just depends on who the nigga is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. yeah.